Hello everyone! Welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Here is an awesome cookie recipe called Chewy Almond Oatmeal Cookies, also known as Overnighters. Now these are gluten free, but having said that, they are really tasty. There's certainly no compromising here. They're the kind of cookie that you can't just have one, you'll want more. And you'll definitely need a cookie jar with a noisy lid. Alright, let's get right to making these. Start with 4 cups of quick cooking oats, and yes it must be the quick cooking kind. Then add 1 cup of brown sugar, and 1 cup of canola oil. I use canola oil, but you can substitute for vegetable oil as well. With a large spoon, take and mix these ingredients until they're really well combined and crumbly. Then you take some plastic wrap and you cover this and you let it sit on the counter. And I let it sit for about 6 hours. Ideally between 6 to 8 hours is great. Don't let it go any more than 8 hours or it won't hold together properly. And it plays havoc on the texture. So alright, after about 6 hours, remove the plastic wrap. Then crack open 3 large eggs into a small bowl. Mix them together before adding them to the mixture. And this will help to hold your cookie together. Now add 1 teaspoon of salt. And last but not least is the almond extract. This adds to the tantalizing flavor. Add 1 teaspoon of almond extract. Then take your large spoon and keep mixing this until it forms a soft dough. And you can see it's coming together here nicely. And this is the texture that you need it to be. It will be soft and moist. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees and you can place parchment paper on two or three cookie sheets because this recipe makes between three and four dozen cookies. And then take the dough by teaspoonfuls and place it on the parchment paper, leaving a little space between each cookie, maybe a couple of inches apart. They do spread out a little bit while they're baking. So having said that, after dropping them by teaspoonfuls, I take my fingers and shape them into a little bit more of a ball effect. I just want them to be well rounded and not too flat. So you place them in the oven on the middle rack and I put the timer on for about 12 minutes. I found 12 minutes just about right. Alright, let's check them out. They smell good. Now let's get them off the pan. Just take the edge of the parchment paper and gently pull them off the cookie sheet. This makes it really easy and they can just cool on the countertop. Now you could use convect bake and try to do them all at once, but I prefer to do them individually and on the middle rack. I find that they bake more evenly and I'm more sure of better results. And when you place them in the oven, watch them and look for browning around the perimeter of the cookies. The times may vary. It took 12 minutes in my oven, but it could take between 12 and 15 minutes. We like them just cooked nicely so that they're still chewy, but if you prefer a little bit of a crisper cookie, you would leave them in a bit longer. They're not likely to last long enough to freeze, but if you wanted to make them up ahead and freeze them, they do freeze well. And here is a special shout out to my nephew Nathan, and for the tips and suggestions and the wonderful memories that this brought back. Now back to all you lovely people for watching this channel. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And until next time, happy eating. Bye -bye.